Welcome to Google Chrome Studios. This is where all the action at Google Chrome happens. And the most exciting news is that they decided to change their logo to the female Chrome. And so I introduced myself as the female Chrome. Hey, welcome to our scene on Theochromocytoma represented by this lady over here, who's the female chrome, female chrome for pheochromocytoma. And as she mentioned, she's gonna be the new logo for Google Chrome. So in this scene, we're gonna talk about the etiology of female chromocytoma, symptoms, findings, and at the end, we'll talk about treatment. So let us begin with the etiology of pheochromocytoma. So if you take a look over here, you may have noticed this kidney over here. We're not so interested in the kidney, we're interested in what's on top of it, the adrenal gland. And out of the adrenal gland, there's this metal, maybe a bar or something, but the metal out of the adrenal, metal for medulla. So this is the adrenal medulla. Pheochromocytoma was the most common tumor of the adrenal medulla in adults. And that's why we have this tumor guy hanging out on top of this metal. So again, it's the tumor that comes from the adrenal medulla. And there's this shark over here that's trying to eat the tumor. Well, the shark is not so important. It's the fin that's important. And on his fin, he has a Google Chrome sign. I have no idea what this shark is doing at the Google Chrome Studios. But this fin with the chrome sign on it is gonna help us remember the chroma fin cells. Pheochromocytoma is derived from chroma fin cells, which arise from neurocrest cells. Let's take a look at this screen over here. So here we see a line of germs, a line of germs for germline. Pheochromocytoma may be associated with germline mutations. And specifically, we see the NFL. That's gonna remind us of NF1. Then we see the hippo here. Hippo is going to remind us of von Hippolindau. And finally, we see the men over here that are red. Multiple endocrine neoplasias, specifically 2A and 2B, are associated with the mutation in RET, RET. So two men for men and RET. So just in summary, pheochromocytoma may be associated with the germline mutations, for example, NF1, VHL, von Hippolindau, and RET. Before we move on to symptoms of pheochromocytoma, we're just gonna mention a famous mnemonic in regards to pheochromocytoma in general, and that's the rule of tens. That 10% are malignant, that is 90% are benign, 10% are bilateral, 10% are extra adrenal, for example, go to the bladder wall, 10% calcify, and 10% are found in kids. Okay, now let's talk about the symptoms. And for that, we're gonna to go to this screen on top of the TV over here, and we see these five Ps. And they're each a little bit different, and that's important. Let's explain why. The first P is gonna be for blood pressure, increased pressure. The reason why it's red is to remind us of the blood pressure. This happens because tumors secrete epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine, and this causes episodic hypertension or increased blood pressure. Then we see this next P who actually has a headache, P for pain, pain in the head for headache. Then we see the next P over here, that's sweating. Perspiration is another finding in pheochromocytoma. Then we see this P over here with the heart. That's palpitating, tachycardia. So again, P for palpitations. That's another finding in pheochromocytoma. And finally, the P that's white for pallor. Pallor is another finding in pheochromocytoma. You might've noticed these red blood cells over here. This reminds us that the tumor may also secrete EPO, which leads to an increase in the number of red blood cells in the body known as polysemia. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the lab findings seen in pheochromocytoma. And for that, we're gonna to go to the roof over here. Because here we see a lot of cats. Cats that are mean, these cats are very mean. Cats that are mean for catecholamines. A major lab finding in pheochromocytoma is increase in catecholamines, as well as metanephrines, including homovalinic acid. And that's why we have this home over here covered in vanilla yogurt. Home vanilla for homovanilic acid as well as we see this ice cream over here, the vanilla ice cream sign that's made of metal, vanilla metal for vanillyl mandelic acid. And this is both in the urine and in the plasma. Oh wait, there's one more lab finding that we see up here. Check out the SCN. The SCN channel is randomly over here. It's really exciting actually. This reminds us of the chromogranin, the synaptophysin, and then NSE positive, which is found in pheochromocytoma. 
Okay, we're gonna end this video with treatment. So treatment for pheochromocytoma includes irreversible alpha antagonists, such as phenoxybenzamine, followed by beta blockers. So we wanna give A before B. And this is prior to tumor resection. Alpha blockade must be achieved before giving the beta blockers to avoid a hypertensive crisis. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on pheochromocytoma. Take care.